What is going on guys? Kyle here from White North Gaming coming at you with our second uh, Hut 20 trade day results. As you can see, we've got a lot of offers. Uh, mainly, most of the offers are for the 94 Larkin, but I think we should have a few good trades in the mix as well. So first, we're going to go through all of our trades, and then at the end of the video, we are going to be selecting a winner for the 94 Team of the Week Larkin, as I told you guys in the last video. So let's get into our first card, which is the 88 Chris Kreider. We'll see if we got any offers on it. Okay, so our first offer, a bunch of 85 uh, special items. None of these guys are really worth much. I think Kreider's worth around like 30 to 40K, but I don't see any of these, uh, the total of any of these cards being over 20k really. Um, the low overall special cards are only worth like maybe 5k. So this would be about a 20k offer. Then we got an 89 team of the decade, uh, Miko Kaltiva. This is a pretty solid offer. I think he would be going for probably around 40k, maybe a little bit more even. So that's a very good offer. And then we've got... Uh, more of what we got in the first offer. I don't think this would be worth very much either. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and accept the team of the decade card because I'm sure he's worth as much of as Kreider, if not more. So thanks a lot to whoever sent that in. Hope you enjoy Chris Kreider. Moving on to the next card, we've got 88 Pulley RV. He's worth around 40 to 50k last time I checked. And our first offer is all-star Seth Jones, that's a really good offer actually. I think he's worth like 60k, so right off the bat, a really good offer. We'll see if we got anything else. We've got more low overall special cards. I think Silverberg would be worth like 20k max and the rest of them around 5k. So again, not really quite there. It's worth around 35k. And then this offer definitely isn't... Uh, isn't worth as much as Puglia RV, but I'm going to go ahead and accept this Seth Jones. That's a really good offer, so thank you to whoever sent that one in. And we are moving on here to our 88 overall Team of the Week, Drew Doughty. See if we got anything on this one. First offer, a lot like the first, uh, the first card. We got a bunch of 85s once again, so that's around 20k. I think Doughty's worth about 40k. And then our second offer, we got 88 Marshawn Team of the Week. And then 85 Hisher and 84 Carter Hart or Carter Hart. So I think this Marshawn is worth about 40k actually. So I think that's a pretty decent offer. If I could sell the other two for about 5k each, that's some pretty good profit. Whereas this one's just not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that offer. So thanks a lot for sending it in. Moving right along here, we've got some pretty good offers so far. I hope it continues. We got our 90 Team of the Week, Brad Marshall. Looks like we only got one offer, and it's an 88 Team of the Week, uh, Lucas Pesh. I don't think that uh, he's going to be worth nearly as much as Marshall. I'm pretty sure Marshall is around, I want to say, like 80K, or at least somewhere in that range. Maybe like 60K, and I don't see this guy being worth that much. So I'm going to go ahead and reject the offer, but thanks for sending it in. Anyways... Next, moving on, we are looking at our Nations of Hockey, Andre Mikhanov card. This guy is a beast. He's six foot seven and he plays center. I think he's got to be the biggest forward in the game, if not one of the biggest. I probably should have showed his stats a little bit more uh, in the trade day video beforehand. But anyways, let's see if we got any offers that are worth it. I think he's worth about 85 to 80K. And our first offer is a healing card. I'm going to go ahead and reject that. Our next offer, we've got 89 primetime Kyle Palmieri and then an 87 Kucherov. So Palmieri would be worth maybe 30 to 40K and then Kucherov like, I don't know, 5K, maybe we'll say 10K. So this offers about 40 to 50K, just not quite the value we're looking for. And then we've got an offer of Brady Kachuk, Spin Chicklets thumbs up card. And we've got JT Comfort, Team of the Week. This is a pretty interesting offer. I'm pretty sure Kachuk is around 70k, maybe 75k, and then Comfort maybe get 5k for him. So I think that's a pretty solid offer. I might be losing out a little bit on this card, but I think the Mikhanov card is kind of hard to sell. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the offer. Hope you enjoy that absolute giant. 
And moving along here, we've got three cards left, and then we are going to do our giveaway. We'll see if we have any decent offers on the big cards. Check out Dennis Rule, Winter National first. All we've got is a jersey change to number 14. So we're going to go ahead and reject that one. It's too bad. He is a really good card, so I'm not too disappointed. I'll definitely keep him on my team. 6'4 defenseman with uh, pretty good stats. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep him. Then we've got our 92 primetime McKinnon. McKinnon. We'll see if there's any good offers. Um, this one obviously isn't at all close to what he's worth. I think he's in the 200k range maybe a little bit maybe closer to 150 but anyways that doesn't come anywhere close then we've got uh, coach an arena 86 burrish and 92 team of the week matt niskanen uh it's a good offer but i don't think it's unfortunately close enough to what mckinnon's worth i would guess that niskanen's only about 80k overall like he does have he does have good stats but he's only a 6-1 defenseman so his value is not going to be quite there. And as for that Burrish card, he's probably worth like maybe 10K. So 90K total. It's just not quite what we're looking for. But thank you for sending the offer in. So it looks like we're going to be holding on to Nate McKinnon. I haven't been able to use him yet. So I'll definitely have to try him out on my hut team. And we've now got two cards remaining. First, we're going to take a look at our 93 primetime line A. The first offer is a coach, and just so you know his valuation, I think he's worth like 250k at least, so he's a pretty expensive card, and it's kind of a hard kind card to find, there's not many of them up on the market often, and so our second offer here, we got Bernie Perron, HUD icon, we got 88 Panarin, 87 uh, Tyson Berry, I don't think this one's going to come close, Perron's probably worth like 50k, Panarin's probably worth like 40k we'll say so that's 90 and then Tyson Berry is probably 20k so just not not at the valuation we're looking for our third offer here we got Kucherov and Dynamic Duo Pasta that's an interesting one we'll hold on to that till the end and then we've got Dynamic Duo Line A and once again Dynamic Duo Pasta so we'll keep that one till the end we've got a jersey change again we got base Panarin. Um, what else do we have? A little contract. Not going to accept that. And then we've got 88 Lino Marchini. I think that's how you say his name. I don't even know. Kucherov. And then Team of the Week, Silverberg. I'm going to go ahead and reject that one. All right, so let's look at these two. I mean, I can right off the bat reject this one because the other offer is obviously better. And we're down to this offer here. Um... I'm trying to think, we're trying to get up to at least 250 in value if I'm going to accept it. I think the Dynamic Duo Pasta goes for maybe 130k, and then the Line A, I can't see him going for more than 100k, so 230k total, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little more. I think I'm going to have to reject it, just because this Line A is such a good card, and I don't want to give him away uh, in a situation where I'm going to lose money, especially because he's a pretty rare card on the market. So I'm going to go ahead and reject it. And so now we are going to be on to the giveaway. We've got Dylan Larkin. Let's see how many offers. So 441 offers uh, for this Dylan Larkin. That's a lot of offers. A lot of people entered in the giveaway. So I appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and randomly select a winner here. I'll keep going through one more time. And... Whoever sent in the, I don't even know, it's some East Coast team, Barry Almeida, congratulations, enjoy your 94 team of the week, Dylan Larkin. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be asking when our next giveaway is, and I think our next giveaway is going to be whenever we hit uh, 400 subscribers. As I'm recording this, we're at 357, so keep subscribing, and I'll make sure to keep pumping out these giveaways for you guys. As you can see, I've got a lot of coins, so I have no problem doing more giveaways so once we hit that mark um, I'll definitely uh, do another giveaway for you guys anyways thanks a lot for watching guys thank you for sending in the trade offers if we do get um, a lot more people interested I'll potentially do another one I know the game is pretty dead at this point so it's kind of difficult to get good offers and stuff like that but if you guys are enjoying this kind of content I will try to do another one but anyways guys thanks a lot for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe